couple of years back, Nova Launcher was acquired by an analytics company called Branch. The idea of having my home screen usage mined by a company like this caused me to look elsewhere for a new custom launcher. I had to have tried at least a dozen different launchers, but sadly, I ended up coming back to Nova Launcher since it has so many of the features that I enjoy having on my Android home screen. The first launcher that I tried switching to was just the stock one offered by Google for its Pixel devices. The Pixel launcher is really nice for what it offers, but after months of using it, I had to look elsewhere because the company still does not let you remove the at a glance widget from the top of the main home screen page. I felt that their weather forecast wasn't accurate for my area and I wanted to try using a different weather widget entirely. I then switched to an application called Pair Launcher as it seemed basic enough but had some extra features to help fill in the gaps. However, its Google Discover Companion application has an issue where you'll be scrolling through the news items, tap on one of them to read, but then whenever you go back to the Google Discover feed, it resets your position and you have to scroll through all of those articles over again. I ended up reporting this bug to the developer, but their response led me to believe that they did not have the time to look into this bug. And after about five to six months, I ended up switching to another launcher. I had heard so many good things about Lawn Chair Launcher, but then after reading about a prominent developer leaving the team and accusing said team of stealing proprietary code from Google's Pixel Launcher, it made me wary about trusting a group of developers that would do something like that. I then tested out Smart Launcher and I actually used it for quite a long time. It had a good companion app for Google Discover, and it looked nice right out of the box. However, when setting up their gestures, I found that the swipe down gesture that I used to expand the notification panel, it only worked on the first home screen page. And I found myself using that gesture on other pages so often that it was messing with my muscle memory. So that frustrated me enough into looking for a different launcher. So then I began using Action Launcher for a bit, and I even paid to unlock some of its premium features, but it felt too buggy for me to continue using it for more than a couple weeks. I was also surprised that some parts of the app hadn't been updated in a couple of years, so that made me a bit worried about the app becoming out of date. There were a handful of other launchers that I tested as well, such as Microsoft Launcher, but I was unable to stick with them for more than an hour or two due to various missing features. So, speaking of missing features, there are some things that I just feel that I need my Android launcher to have. I need a launcher that has the Google Discover feed on the left panel here. It's how I consume a good amount of news throughout the day, and I have found myself missing that feature when I try to go without it. As mentioned earlier, I also like having a couple of gestures in my launcher. I enjoy being able to reveal the notification panel by swiping down on an empty spot of the launcher page and I like to expand my app drawer by swiping up as well. That way I don't have to reach all the way up to the top of the screen or the bottom just to access those panels. And while not 100% required, I do like being able to double tap on the home screen in order to lock the phone. I used to be into customizing the look of the home screen much more than I am today, but it is nice to be able to adjust the number of rows and columns on both the home screen as well as the app drawer. 
And I also like to use a custom icon pack to help things look more uniform as well. But those are not considered must-haves for me anymore. I do have a custom icon pack on my daily driver, but you can see on these work phones, I just don't go through the setup process. I was really surprised that there hadn't been another third-party custom launcher to knock Nova Launcher from its pedestal yet. I know that a lot of people within the Android community have switched to more unique launchers like Niagara, but that isn't the style of launcher that I'm interested in. And while I cannot say that I've tried every custom launcher available on Android, I have tried many of the more popular ones. So let me know what launcher you're using these days. And I would be curious to learn if you stuck with Nova Launcher as well, or if you're fine using the stock launcher that comes with your phone. And please do not forget to like this video while also subscribing to the channel for more Android content like this.